Good morning, live from Delray Beach. How we doing it? Thanks so much for tuning in here on this Monday morning, July 22nd, 2019. Today is episode 144. Good morning, Whitey. Good morning, Shelly. Thanks always for being here. And Joey G. You know, the word of the day is comeback. It's a powerful word. Kang, when are you getting back here already? This is ridiculous. Life in Delray is not the same without Kang and Sylvia, but I'm hanging in there. Hey, cuz, nice to see you, Maddie. Thanks for getting up early and joining in. Whitey, my heart goes out to you. I know how hard you've been fighting these last couple of weeks, holding on to your little black beautiful dog called Monkey. I know yesterday was really hard, so my thoughts go out to you. Boy, she's one tough dog. I know that uh, she doesn't want to let go, and I know you don't want to let go, but I'm thinking about you, and good luck today. Comeback is the word of the day. Last week, it was really a great week. We had words like yes, impatience, Extraordinary, I was talking about Natalie, whose trip in Hawaii has been nothing short of extraordinary. The pictures and the memories are unbelievable. Listen, which I am working on, I promise. Grateful Friday with a hug. Hope you gave out some great hugs this weekend. I know I did. Feedback and unanimously. And if you got a chance to watch Mariano Rivera's acceptance speech at Hall of Fame yesterday, I got one word for that, class. What a class act. He was just amazing. But let's go to comeback now, here's the quote. The comeback is always stronger than the setback. The comeback is always stronger than the setback. Every setback is a chance, right? Every setback is a setup for a comeback. Said that one. Every setback is a setup for a comeback. Now keep putting out good. It will come back to you tenfold in unexpected ways. Hey, Amy, good morning. Now don't ever let any setback keep you from making an incredible comeback. We're going to have setbacks. Life is not this. Life is this. And when those setbacks come and knock you down, all they do is make for a better story on your comeback. You know, when you look at sports, sports is made up of incredible comeback stories. You know, I was just mentioned when I did Instagram, I had this immaculate reception. I remember when Franco Harris caught a ball in a playoff game for the Steelers, and to today, it's still shown a million times. Dwight Clark and Joe Montana. I remember the comeback the Mets made in, you know, when they were playing the Red Sox with that era by Billy Buckner and the Mookie Wilson play. I could go on and on. Comebacks in sports are why we get drawn back in. They're amazing. You know, when I think of sports, I think about gambling. God, I've Witnessed some unbelievable comebacks, not only myself, but, you know, as a spectator watching friends gamble. I've seen people get almost carted out to where they come all the way back. The ride back is so much fun. You know who I'm talking about. Now you get to the career bus. You know, if we, if we look at the career bus, yes, jobs come, jobs go, divisions get taken away, companies merge things happen. But if you really want it, you're passionate about what you're doing, you can make the most amazing comebacks happen in your own career. You just got to believe in yourself and you got to work and outwork the competition. Financial, you know, that's a comeback story. I'll get to that in a minute. Financial is all about having it, losing it, building it, taking it away from you, rebuilding it. It's a roller coaster, but the comeback in the build is great. And then in health, you know, 
What do you do when you get injured? What does PT do for you? The one I really like is recovery. People that were in addiction and recovery programs. When they decide to get serious about cleaning it up and living a cleaner life, that's an amazing comeback story. It's unbelievable. Love hearing those. They're filled with everything we talk about. Congratulations to those that listen, that are in recovery, that have been doing it for so many years and helping others. You're amazing. And then how about the old relationship comeback? You know, sometimes somebody from your previous life comes back into your life and you have a great relationship. Or other times, your relationship doesn't work and you have to end it. So you find somebody new for a new journey and you come back to finding love all over again. Some of the best feelings in the world. Now, I talk a lot about a lot of things and every once in a while I talk about me. You're looking at somebody right now. I am working on my own comeback right now as we speak. I changed careers in December. It's a new career. I'm coming back to being the old me. Financially, if you know me, I had that mansion. I had it all. Took it away. Coming back. I'm rebuilding. It's part of the process. My health, I'm always fighting to stay healthy. And I'm looking to come back with a great relationship because I, if you don't know, got divorced four years ago. So I am working on my own comeback right now. And seriously, if my life were a song, the title would be The Comeback Kid. So I'm having an awesome time rewriting my script. And you stay tuned, because my comeback is on its way to becoming awesome. And I appreciate everything so much more this time around. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate that. And I, too, am hoping for Whitey and Monkey to come through this. So, here's my last one. Failure is not the end. It's the start of yours and mine comeback story. I failed. I failed at a lot of things. I've also been really successful at a lot. But the timing of everything knocks you down. Well, I'm here to pick myself up and take anyone along for the ride who wants to come with me because there's nothing better than a great comeback story. So thank you. And most importantly, I hope you come back tomorrow and the day after and the day after because we are building a community here that's really special. The outpouring of what I received yesterday in terms of great meals, unanimous decisions and choices, places and things people are doing, we're helping one another grow. So, Neil, your emails or your texts last night, they were amazing. Thank you for caring, really appreciate that. Wow, I am late. I gotta go, have a great day. And uh, to everybody who's working on comebacks at whatever they are, hang in there and keep fighting. Every day gets better. Thanks, Melissa. I'll be back too. Take care, Amy. Thank you so much. And good luck today, Whitey. Love you, brother.